Hello all and welcome to the Duplicate Success International Monday night webinar. Today is Monday, March 20, 2017. My name is Phyllis Walker, Achiever from Bountiful, Utah. I have the distinct honor of introducing the host of tonight's webinar. He is a very well respected business leader and mentor in this industry. You will definitely want to have your pen and paper out, sitting up, paying attention, and taking notes as you learn how this industry expert continues to build his business successfully. He has achieved the rank of Executive Goal Director within our company. He is the co-founder of Duplicate Success International. He is an amazing leader, mentor, and most importantly, I'm very proud to call him my friend. Randy, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Thank you so much, Phyllis, for the great introduction. I appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Randy Krebs, Executive Goal Director from Salt Lake City. I'm pictured here with my beautiful wife, Viola. We have had our successful USANA business now for 11 years and just enjoying the health and the time freedom that this uh, industry that this company uh, brings to us just enjoying it you'll see a lot of us uh, doing a lot of hiking doing just enjoying our times together traveling and just enjoying everything that you has to offer we started each webinar with uh, going over our daily method of operation, that is use the products every day, AM and PM. Do your 222 for the day, two new presentations sent, uh, video presentations, two follow-ups with prospects that are maybe on the fence, and two calls to your existing client or team members, and 15 minutes of personal development material each day, at least six days per week, that's either the books, audios, and that includes this webinar. The three keys to a breakthrough is, you know, doing your strategy, do your, do your DMO, um, the stories that you tell yourself, and definitely the state that you're in. It's your, your energy and, and state of mind. So follow these three things, do your DMO daily, uh, keep uh, telling your stories to yourself on where you're going with your USANA business or where you're going with your, uh, with in life. And then always be in, in a, amazing state. Keep your energy and your state of mind high. I'd like to start out with team recognition, the new clients that uh, join our team this past week. I want to welcome Viola Fraga, a new client introduced by Lillian Galdiano. Welcome Viola, great name. Welcome Angie Agayo, new client introduced by Renee and Megan Martinez. Welcome Lucy, or welcome Angie. I want to welcome Lucy Benke, new client introduced by Phyllis Walker. Welcome, Lucy. Great job, Phyllis. I want to welcome Angelica Garcia, new client introduced by Denise. Welcome, Angelica. I want to welcome Edmund McKelly, McKelly, new client also introduced by Denise Garcia. Way to go, Denise. Now, I want to recognize those new associates that joined our team this past week. I want to welcome James Jolin, new associate introduced by Jared and Crystal Krebs. And I'm not sure if James is on the line where he could say a few things. I don't see him here, so we'll have to uh, catch him on another day. So, well, welcome, James, to the USANA family, and you're definitely in great hands with, with Jared. Hold on one second. I want to welcome Maria Riveras, new associate introduced by Denise Garcia. Welcome, Maria. And I don't know if Maria's on where she could say a few words. Doesn't look like she's on tonight. So, again, welcome to the USANA family, Maria, and definitely in great hands with Denise as well. So some special rec team recognition. We wanna welcome or congratulate 
Jared and Crystal Krebs, number 18 top Emerald directors in the United States. Great job, Jared and Crystal. Also, Jared and Crystal are the number 12 top preferred, top 25 preferred customer enrollers in the United States. Again, congratulations, uh, Jared and Crystal, on being the top or number 12 top preferred customer enrollers. Also, I want to congratulate Denise Garcia, number 22, top 50 associate sponsor in the U.S. Way to go, Denise, and uh, just uh, keep that momentum going. We see you growing your business leaps and bounds every week, and see you on. Nice to see you. Continue to see you on the boards. So, go through some special announcements before our training. Um, the three, the one and three business centers. For our, there's free business development systems for enrolling a one or three business center uh, associate that goes now through April 21st. So uh, get out there when you enroll, make sure that they uh, get their free BDS. Also, USAN is celebrating its 25 years uh, it's anniversary this year. And to kick off the celebration, uh, USAN is taking the tw top 25 growers from the period of January 7th through March 31st through an all expense paid weekend to the Rivera Maya, Mexico. So that's all based on growth, uh, based on your period from last year, January 9th through April 1st, compared to the growth from January 7th to March 31st. It's open to everyone. So. You know, good luck with that. We got another, looks like a little over a week and a half, two weeks left with this. So good luck for those that are uh, in this top 25 growers. Also, I love Nutrimel. They are not all gone yet. Um, you can still get the single packs of chocolate and vanilla only. Sorry, the single packs of strawberry are no longer available, as well as the full bags of strawberry are no longer available. So, but the single singles for vanilla and strawberry are, or vanilla and chocolate are available. Again, no strawberry. And the vanilla and chocolate, Dutch chocolate Nutramil are back for good. So we're very excited about that. So those of uh, people that enjoyed and loved the simplicity of the chocolate and vanilla Nutramils, they're back, back for good. Now we want to celebrate the winners of the track WAP and win to uh, celebrate the nationals. Oops. All right. Let me mute whomever is speaking here. Got him. Okay. To celebrate the winners of, of the track, whack, and win contest that we did that went from December 10th to March 17th, which was this last Friday, if we look at the, look at the scores, for this is the final scores, uh, Veronica Cade was first place with 146 points. Renee and Mar Megan Martinez were second with 130, Lillian Galdiano. Third place with 115, um, Carlos, Claudia, Don, Patty, Phyllis, Luis. I mean, everyone, this, everyone that participated in this contest uh, for the past 14 weeks, great job. Congratulations to the top three. Uh, the top three uh, places, Veronica Cade with first place receives a $400 cash award for that. Renee and Mar Megan Martinez, Second place, 250, and Lillian Galdiano, third place with 150, gets $150. I don't know if Veronica Cade is on. I just want to take a few minutes. I know Renee and Megan are on. Let me unmute them. Renee and Megan, uh, there you are. Renee, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. All right, congratulations on second place on this particular contest. Thank you. Job to, tell us about it. How, the, how was the contest for you? What did you do to uh, was a success to get you to second place? Um, I, think, I think 
honestly, what got me to second place was that I focused on my team and helping them. And it just, that's where I ended up. I wasn't worried about enrolling people and finding people. And I was just helping all of my new people. Veronica Kate is new. Uh, Denise Garcia is new. They, I mean, I have a lot of new people and that's, that was, that's what did it for me is just, I was just focusing on everybody else. And it happened. Wow. Great job. And, that, and that's a tribute to you definitely in your leadership, Renee, to see your, your team, uh, one of your team members take first place. And I'm, and I'm actually more excited that she got first place than me because it shows that we're doing something right whenever we're doing our training and teaching. Yes. Yep. I, want that. So, I don't know. I don't know if Veronica is on the line, but big congratulations. I'm super proud of everybody that, that did this, especially her. And yeah, I mean, I look, I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, I can't tell if she's online. There's a, a few phone numbers, but I'm not sure what her phone number would be. She's probably a 218, 210 area code. But yeah, it don't, doesn't look like she's on at this time. But again, congratulations for second place. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, we're going to probably kick off another contest within the next week or two. We're discussing that now. And uh, just to keep that momentum going, because it you went silver during this, didn't yeah. you? Renee? Exactly. Yes. Yes, I did. Awesome. And and I've had probably five or six people on my team rank it more than once. Yes. So all of, the, all of this unity and everything that we're doing, it's it's working. It's paying off. Very good. Very good. Well, congratulations and keep up the good work. And uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, get another contest started and see you and your team shine with that as well. Absolutely. All right. Okay. With our Facebook groups, whenever you sign a new client uh, up in your business, make sure you we recognize them, put your new clients, put their picture, their story on the USANA clients Facebook page. What you need to do with that is make sure that they are your Facebook friend. You need to invite them, complete a little write-up, uh, welcoming that particular person to the client's page. And uh, then we as a team will welcome them uh, to the USANA family. Same way with associates. If you have a new associate, uh, make sure you put them on the Team DSI Duplicate Success International Facebook group. You need to be their Facebook friend. At first, you want to put them in as a member, do a write-up for them, picture, and then as a team, we will go through and welcome them to this particular, to the USANA family and celebrate their success as they grow their USANA business. And as always, whether they're new clients or new associates, uh, a lot of us are on Facebook daily, if not multiple times per day. Check these sites. If you get a notification that we have a new client or a new associate, make them feel welcome. You know, welcome them to the team. You, you know, they, uh, they, they, it's something that I like to personally do for each new client, client and associate that joins the uh, Team DSI family. So just make sure you just take a minute and welcome these new clients or associates. All right, now I want to get right into the training portion. The reason that we're all, a lot of us are here to hear this amazing gentleman. First off, let me unmute him. Andre, are you there? I am unmuted. Woohoo! Sorry, this is a brand new format for us, the Zoom, so I'm, we're all still kind of figuring out how it works. So I want to uh, take, oh, no take a few second break for editing purposes, and then we'll get right into the training portion of tonight's webinar. Awesome.
Hello, my name is Randy Krebs, Executive Gold Director from Salt Lake City, Utah. I have the distinct honor of introducing the special guest in tonight's webinar. Uh, his name is Andre Gordon. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Andre. In 2015, Andre and the cast of Jungle Bunch won an international Emmy Award for the Best Kids Animation Show. Uh, Gordon and John Lithgow were the, the leads. Uh, Andre was born in St. Andrews, Jamaica, and grew up in Miami, Florida. He is an alumni of the BFA program at Florida State University. He is an actor, as you were are going to definitely, wow, who's drawing on the screen? I've got to fix that one. He is an actor working with UTA, Clear Talent Group, and Flick Commercials. Gordon is president and CEO of Four Horsemen's Films. So not only is he, is, is he an amazing associate, he is a talented and very busy actor and director. Andrew has, Andrew has been successfully producing acting, writing, and directing for well over a decade. Andre has worked the, 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 huh, theatrically in both film and television, which include guest appearances on Modern Family, Raising Hope, Haunted Hathaways, Mad TV, Campus Ladies, Scrubs, Phoebus and Ferb, and Zoe 101, along with the feature old school like me, like me, my, like Mike, and SWAT. He has produced films starring Michael Clark Duncan, Vinnie Jones, and Brian Austin Green. He has created a TV series starring the legend Jerry Rice and has directed greats such as Morgan Freeman, Ed Bailey Jr., and Catherine Jolston. Andre, Andre, Andre has also just published his first book, Seeds of Inspiration. Wow, in his spare time, he became an Emerald Director uh, with USANA and is the number two associate enroller in 2016, the number five associate enroller in North America and Europe in 2014, 2015, the number six associate enroller in the US 2014, 2015, number five associate enroller in North America 2013, 14, Number nine, Associate Enroller in North America and Europe, 2012-13. The number two, Associate Enroller in 2013-14. Number five, Customer Enroller in the U.S., 2014. Premier Platinum Pace Setter and co-founder of Team Mega Powers, Andre Gordon. Welcome to tonight's webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, that was... Uh, Awesome to hear all of that, and I'm gonna just ask that you follow me around and just respect that anytime I feel bad at myself. Wow, no, incredible! You know, we we know we all know you're an extremely successful USANA associate. Not everyone knows about your background in acting in film and writing a book. Yeah, you know, just just amazing. That it's that is quite an accomplishment. Uh, for for you it says a lot for you andre and uh you know not only as busy as you can be with an usana business balancing all the a uh, balancing everything that you do day in and day out so tell us yeah um thank you yeah so tell us tell us a little bit about your usana journey if you could when sure Sure. Um, I'll tell you exactly how we got started. Uh, in 2012, I was just looking for a little bit late, and a buddy of mine, Nick Puga, he uh, suggested, very gently, <laughs> suggested that I was expanding my waistline one too many notches, oh. and that I should check into some of the weight management programs that he saw I had. So. I, I took a look at the Nutrimeal bars, and, and at the time it was the reset, and I and I lost 55 pounds in four months. Whoa. And during my transformation, people were asking, what is it that you're doing? You seem to look better and feel better. And I shared that it was this company that I partnered up with, USANA. And 
I couldn't tell the talk about it with anybody I knew because I was just so excited for feeling great. Uh, from that, you know, anytime I, what I realized when I started doing the business was at first I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to do a hundred percent effort a hundred percent of the time. And then I realized it's the truth that with USANA, you just need 10 to 20 percent effort a hundred percent of the time. So if I, I just found consistency with full focus for a short period of time each day. And it really grew from there. Wow. So what, what year did you uh, enroll in USANA, Andre? I, uh, 2012. June and of 2012 is when I started. 2012. Wow. And from in four or five short years, you've zoomed, you, you achieved Emerald Director last year, correct? Yes. Yeah. Wow, what what a quick journey! So tell tell the tell everyone on the call today, you know what obstacles were you did you face with your USANA business and how you overcame them. So I, I think it's important to know that um, with any business that there are going to be challenges, and if there is no challenges, then it's still going to be true, you know. I, I actually really like the fact that there were some hiccups and things that I had to work through because then I knew I was dealing with a real business. Um, I, I think juggling time with my family and, and getting a team off the ground was one of them, but I really just learned the, the, uh, the art of uh, time management. But as I figured out the time management side of it, uh, I, I thought that, the hardest thing for me to do was how do I keep people inspired to do well in this business? Because if people are inspired and they have a reason and they're really excited about making this happen, then the business can be really powerful. But to be honest, uh, you know, I, I felt a little bit lost in the beginning because our upline was in Canada. You know, I, the Leanne and Krista, Ariaba, uh, they, they're our, our upline and they're in Canada and Nick and I were in California with Manette, my wife and uh, Fernanda, his wife, and we didn't know what to do. So we had to figure it out. And what I love about this whole aspect of just having to figure it out with no real guidance in the beginning was that it was very clear that we wanted to make it work. So I think the first lesson I took from that was looking back now uh, and using time as my mentor is that the associates that we bring in and the teammates that we bring in, they must want to make this happen. If they want to make it happen, they will find a way. So that was the first thing, finding a way, which we did. We reached out to all the leaders in the area. We went to every single event, which we still go to every single event because the event provided the inspiration that no one person could. And uh, so, by the way, for your national uh, celebration in your area, make sure you go and get your ticket. Don't miss it. Um, that's the first thing. Uh, and then on top of that, our team really grew quickly. And it was really just how do we have a system that everyone can duplicate and follow? And we keep it simple. We have trainings once or twice a week. Uh, one live training, one broadcast training, and we started out with one event on a Monday, and that turned into an event on a Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and what's beautiful is it's not just me. My wife and I do the presentation on Monday at our house, and then a new teammate was like, you know what, I'm going to do Wednesday at my place, and then another team was like, okay, I'm going to do Saturday at my place. So they started seeing what we were doing and really just taking that uh, into, uh, I guess, advice on how to uh, move forward in their business. So I, I think the biggest hurdles are keeping people engaged and active, um, figuring things out when you don't always have the answer and there may not be someone with the answer. And, <clears throat> and then to be honest with you guys, I, 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 uh, I had a situation where business grows. Some people get distracted. Maybe some people even chose to do other things and left the business. And, but I just rebuilt, and and then and I got back to work, and we, we never stopped doing the basics, which are 
talking to new people each day, five new people a day, two presentations a day, and then following up with five a day, five to five as our baseline. Um, and then our personal development, making sure we had those things in line was the absolute key to getting through any adversity, any adversity, any believing the team, any, any confusion on new products or old products or new products, whatever it may be, action stirred everything. So we always stayed active. So you say action cures everything with your, for your team. Yes. Um, because when you're not in action, you're complaining or analyzing the things that are going right. But if you're busy working with your teammates, if you're busy talking to people, making new friends, doing presentations, following up, you don't really have time to focus on what's not going right or what's difficult. You only have time to focus on how to continue to grow, how to keep momentum going. Because once you're in momentum, you want to stay there. You want to keep it going. And, and you know, that, that's what we want to make sure that we really hit home with our team is keeping the action going. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well, tell, tell us a little bit about your time management secrets. I, again, everything that's on your plate, family, acting, USANA, what, what do you personally do for your time management? Okay. <clears throat> so, I want to just be, I, I love just being upfront and honest with everybody and letting everybody know exactly how it is. The first thing I have to really accept is that my situation is no worse or better than another's. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the same 24 hours in the day, right? Yes. It just depends on how we choose to do it. And what I've noticed is a lot of people will say, like, well, if I just had so-and-so's time, if I didn't have this situation, if I didn't live here, if I didn't have this job, if I didn't have to go and do this thing, then I could make it happen. And I was never, ever going to allow my circumstance to dictate my drive. I was going to dictate my drive despite the circumstance. There's always a way to find a way. So I had the first thing I had to do in order to, to defeat the time management monster is never complain about how much time you have. Because yeah. every time, every moment that you have is, is, is a gift. So I look at those moments as a blessing and a gift to make things work for my business and for my life. That's the baseline. Now, as far as what I do, I, I have three children under six years old, so we're just now getting back to sleeping through the night. <laughs> so it was very difficult. Oh, wow. Very difficult to, to do. But, hey, you know what? You can't deposit excuses. You can only deposit checks. So I made it work. I wake up at 5.30 or 6 um, a.m. and I spend 30 minutes connecting with people on the East Coast mm -hmm. and just texting them, following up with them. They've already started their day, sending out messages and invites for people to either look at my website, take a look at a video, or take a health assessment. That's what I do in the mornings for 30 minutes before the kids get up. I wake up before the kids. The last few days, I gotta say, I've been sleeping in till 6:30 um, because of um, our, our kiddos have been waking up, but um, I wake up 30 minutes before the kids and I do some work on the phone. Once that's done, once the kids wake up, we get them dressed. I take one of our kids to school and then I take the other two to school. By 9.15, I'm back on the computer and I spend about 35 to 40 minutes following up on the messages that I sent three hours ago. And that's really great because the messages that I sent three hours ago, people either are just getting to them or seeing them. And I split the rest of the time sending out messages to people on the West Coast. So at 6 a.m., I'm sending out to the East Coast. At 9 a.m., I'm sending out to the West Coast. And then after the kids, right before I pick up the kids from school, with the net, like around 12, I start from 12 to 1, following up on everybody. And it drives to each location, whether it be to school or whether it be to uh, come back home, I'm listening to personal development. So I, I make sure that I do those little things. Sending out at least, at least 10 messages a day, messages, and following up 
with at least five and doing a few presentations electronically. If I, I feel like if I do them in the morning, almost like my workout, I'm starting my day off with some energy, with some punch. And um, chances are throughout the day, people will trickle in with responses that I set up in the morning. Um, aside from that, on Mondays, like I said, at six o'clock, we do our trainings for my team, um, from six to eight. On Tuesdays, we do a live team time from 6.30 to eight. And then we have our health and freedoms that each one of us respectively hosts. And depending on the area, depending on what mode we're in, we can choose which ones to go to. And that's really my, that's what my days look like. Uh, a lot of uh, inviting and following up, <laughs> mixed with presentations and self-development. That's excellent. You say you send out 10 messages and uh, five videos or five follow-ups or... Sorry, I'm trying to. So yeah, I, I I do at least ten messages a day. Like if I do less than ten new messages a day, then I blew it okay. because I can send out ten messages, and then I will do at least two presentations a day, meaning a video, um, a health assessment, a one-on-one. -on -one, um, a Skype call, something where I'm presenting the opportunity to somebody on the products, somebody a day. And then I follow up with five to 10 people a day as well. That's when I'm just kind of trudging along. When I'm really cooking with gas, <laughs> oh, I was wow. talking to Nick about this today. Yeah. Then, then I try to do 30 a day, 30 new messages every day, just boom, 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 setting them out. And then, um, and then uh, following up with 15 and doing 10 uh, presentations. So when it's run time or growth time, which should be every day, but it just depends on, you know, what I'm focusing on. Uh, that's when I'm, I'm really, really working it. Wow. Very impressive. Very impressive. For, for those... But, you know, I, I just wanted to say real quick, though, it doesn't, it doesn't require that to make this work. I, I have new people just do two two messages, two follow ups, two two presentations, the two two two, just okay. just to keep them active every single day. And if you do something every day, your business will, will work for you. I just am ambitious. I have a family of five. I have a lifestyle that I want to live, and I know I know that when I'm speaking, either money is coming into the business or leaving the business, depending on what I say. And the more that I can speak, and the more that I can listen the better my business can, can grow. And it's, it's just a matter of uh, what we want out of the business. So I don't want people to feel like, oh, no, I have to do 30. I have to do 15 or 20. You can, I tell people, at least do two. If you can, everybody can do two. If you're doing two, do reach out to every single day and following up with two and, and presenting the two, you will have growth in this business. Right. Very, very true. So on your people that are, say, new to your business, what do you do to keep them going, keep them excited, motivate? You know, they, they, I think you yeah. said you need to have a want, but what do, what do you and your team personally do for the new person? Right, so as soon as you sign up, you get a welcome email from us, um, and we, all of the upline is copied on the email. And uh, they're getting like welcomes from you know 10, 15 people, which is very reassuring. We also do a, a, a Facebook welcome. We do that on our, our actual live public page because we were doing it on our team page, and that's, that was, that's been great. But I found that when I was doing it on my public page, all of Sana was chiming in to welcome the person, which was even more welcoming right. than just the, you know, a few people. So we're, just, we're reinforcing the, the positivity, the, the great decision that people have made to join this, this USANA team. Uh, once they do that, they also get their uh, Getting Started playbook, like their um, Getting Started Right, uh, I guess we call it a playbook because we, we focus on team, but 
Um, everybody has their own manual, right? A lot of people have the manual. And Usana's manual that they have on now is very much based on the playbook. They must go through the playbook in the first 48 hours. Once they do that, then we sit down together. When we sit down together, we go through their their um, reasons why for doing the business, their hopes and dreams for the business, questions that they wrote down, and then we immediately do a hot market text session where we text 10 to 20 people on on the list that they made to get them in action right away. And the reason why we've done that is because sometimes it's intimidating doing it by yourself. You know, at, at home, you just made a decision to open this business and don't really know what to do. Right? And I feel like sitting with them, we had a new girl come out last week and she came to the house, brought her, her, her manual, and we did a hot market tech session where we texted those 10 people or top 10 on the list. And she's like, oh my goodness, if you weren't here staring at me, I'd be at home saying, yeah, sure, Andre, I'll do it. And I wouldn't do it. But because I'm here with you, I, I, I'm doing it. And she got one new uh, customer on the health pack and one person wants to enroll in the business. Oh, nice. And she had already brought a guest to her first, her first meeting. She had guests coming with her. So it's like the, the reinforcement of, hey, we're in this together has mm-hmm. made the difference as opposed to, hey, just go through this, send out your text messages and let me know when you're done. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Great. One other question. What, what advice would you give our team as they continue to grow their business, grow their USANA business? What would be your one or two questions or advices for them? So I'm going to be speaking um, for the U S national celebrations. I'll be in San Diego. I'll be in San Antonio. um, And I'm, and some other places, but here's one of the things I really want to make sure that the field leaves with. I don't feel as though we ask enough for people to take a look at what we have to offer. I think we invite and we do the first step of the engagement. I think we engage people with our questions, but I don't think we ask as much as we could. And over the past, I'd say 12 weeks, my wife and I have been averaging maybe seven new customers, eight new customers a week. And that's exciting for us because we're asking people if they are, if, would they be interested in taking a look at our website? We use our website and we created a product based website. And having a 30 to 60 day, uh, having a 30 day money back guarantee on one of the products they feel would add the most value to their health journey. And I think asking somebody, if, if I call, if I reached out to you and I was like, Hey, listen, my wife and I have a goal to help a hundred people, a hundred families get on their wellness journey. If I sent you my, my personal affiliate website with the, with the health and wellness company, USANA, would you take a look and see if any products added value to your life? I, to me, asking them to do that and telling them that there's a money back guarantee has been the difference in one customer a week to five or six customers a week. And furthermore, really identifying, and this is what I'd say is the one most important job that you guys can do, identify who you're talking to. Are you talking to a person who loves to go out and have fun? Which means... You want to prospect and talk to them from an aspect of promotion, events, and, and team, and the use of the lifestyle. Are you talking to a person who wants to save the world? Which means you want to prospect them, um, maybe get them involved with the True Health Foundation of the Children's Hunger Fund as their intro into USANA. Are you talking to somebody who, you know, just, you know, they want to make a lot of money? Uh, and, and then you want to talk to them about the opportunity and, and, and find the products that are quick and easy that can get them uh, engaged into the USANA lifestyle? Uh, or you, are you talking to an urchin or, or someone who's gonna analyze everything and you know, and, and asking them for their feedback on these products that you found so helpful to your family? So on our team, we've really become detectives of who we're talking to. So if you become a master of, of deciphering what quadrant people belong in, then I think it becomes easier to invite them to do to a, a USANA experience depending on what they seem 
to most resonate with. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Oh, totally. But totally. Uh, I feel like, okay, yeah. great, awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, and the results uh, say for themselves, if you've gone from one or two customers per week to seven, you know, the, the results I'll tell you, do speak for themselves. When we started this for a convention, we were number 250 on the, on the leaderboard for PC and rollers. And we, we, this week, we're up to number 54. Ooh. And it's been a huge jump. And, you know, I, I can't even believe we made it this far up. <laughs> but we weren't even on the board, not even two, three months ago. So I think that it's the power of asking people to try the product and, and, and then posing it as uh, risk-free, money-back guarantee intro to your wellness journey has been a real game changer in our business. Well, it sounds like it, definitely. And you mentioned it, and I was gonna bring it up as well. You, we have quite a few team members in the San Antonio area that will be at the San Antonio National. Uh, Viola and I and a few of our team members will also be in the San Diego area you're you're speaking at both what can you share what you're going to be briefly what you're going to be talking about during sure, this where, sure. where I think everyone is in for a very special treat uh hearing and seeing you on stage oh well, well thank you very much for that um uh in San Diego I'm going to be talking about how to prospect and invite okay um as you read in my bio uh I, I have, I don't know how, I've really refined it down, but in the beginning, I just would talk to people, and each year, I've been a top associate enroller, and I've figured out a system and scripts and what to say to who, and I'll be sharing how to prospect, how to invite, the different types of inviting, the different, type of, different types of invites, and which prospect means what, and how to, how to really identify uh, what to invite the prospect to. Uh, and in San Antonio, I'm going to be talking about presenting. How can you engage people into your story? What do, what do you need to say when you get up there to do a health and freedom? How can you become a better presenter? What does a presentation actually mean? And um, we're going to be workshopping getting through a proper presentation. Oh, excellent. Wow. Wow, actually, Viola and I are looking for flights. We, we may end up doing both because Jared is also, our son Jared is also a keynote speaker in San Antonio. So we may awesome. get looking at it, try and get the flights at a reasonable price. But definitely we'll, are excited to hear uh, your part in San Diego on prospecting and inviting. Both of them extremely powerful. Very powerful. Any, any closing words for us, Andre? Again, appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us this evening. Anything in closing? Yeah. In, in, in closing, I would tell you that the decision to do USANA and to join this team, uh, and I say this team because I feel like USANA is one big giant team, is probably one of the best business decisions I've made in my life having a future to look forward to that does not rely on someone else employing me is so key. Setting my, my family up for something that is available and a legacy type of business is so key. So I tell my, my teammates who come to presentations and the guests, whether you're a guest here at my presentation, or whether you're involved in the business and not taking full advantage of the opportunity that you sort of offers you, I, I really do challenge you to look at USANA's opportunity, the compensation plan, how much you can actually make in a week, in a month, in a year, get specific with what you want from this business and start making that happen. Because if you don't know what your plan is for five years from now, you're already there today. But if you really look at what it is you want to get out of USANA, USANA is what you put into it. So do something new each day. Ask people to take a look at the opportunity or the product 
and never be discouraged to the point of inaction. Action cures everything. Oh, so, so true. Well, thank you so much, Andre. If you could, Andre, I'm going to close out our webinar with a few announcements, upcoming events. And if you could hang on the, on the webinar, we may have a few questions at the end, if that's OK. Um, yeah, you guys went to the announcements. I'm going to go tuck in my kids. OK, tuck, tuck, tuck in your kids. I got about 10 minutes of announcements, and we'll bring you back. Anyone that right. have a specific question for Andre, uh, please raise your hand. You should be able to do that on your on your screen, and we'll uh, he'll be back after tucking the kids in. What what a great life being able to get up, take your kids to school, pick them up from school, tuck them in bed, and, and build an amazing, amazingly successful USANA business. Okay, and that ends the training portion of tonight's webinar. Pull out your calendar, get ready for 2017. Uh, Chicago, Illinois is the next national celebration, March 25th. I know we have Bonnie Thornton from our team attending that with two guests, so that's March 25th in Chicago. San Antonio, Texas, April 1st. Jared and I believe, well, I can't remember the total count. It's over 20 of the Team DSI associates and guests will be attending the San Antonio celebration April 1st. And they will actually be hearing our guest speaker uh, talking on presenting. So that's uh, April 1st, San Antonio. San Diego, April 8th, Viola and I and a couple other associates, Phyllis and Sherry Bender, will be in San Diego on April 8th, again, to hear Andre talking about prospecting and inviting. You saw this 25th International Convention. This is the more, most important event of 2017. This is going to be August 16th through the 19th. Um, you'll definitely want to, if you haven't already, get find a ticket. It is sold out. It was sold out months ago, but there have been tickets on the internet that people that cannot make it are selling. So if you want to get to the international convention, you don't have your ticket, uh, get a hold of Jared or Viola and I, and uh, we'll see how we can help you out with that. Here are the people that are already registered for international convention. Oops, come on machine. There we go. Um, plane tickets, sorry, I didn't update this. Uh, plane tickets, this was actually, I think, unless Jared got on there, these were tickets from last week. If you fly out Tuesday through Sunday, it's 362. If you fly out Tuesday and return the next day, you save a little bit of money. It's only 283. Again, sorry, these were last week's prices. I did not get in to update them. So these are all on Southwest. Yeah. If, you, if you've got your ticket, make sure you get your flights and your hotels secured soon because they are filling up quickly as well. Success on the beach. Um, we are all part of the success on the beach. This is a trip that you can earn based on your growth from this year, based based on last year's numbers. And if you grow your business by as little as 6,000 CVP or $6,000, uh, you'll be able to get a portion of this up to where you can earn the whole airfare, hotel, accommodations, uh, just by growing your business. Uh, in, any information on that, look at the puntaconta.teamdsi.info for specifics. GoPro, go, the eighth annual GoPro 2017 GoPro is November 16th through the 18th in Las Vegas. Um, single ticket prices are $400 with payment plans available. So if you have not or you uh, purchased your ticket for GoPro, um, contact Jared or I and we can get you set up with a ticket for the eighth annual GoPro. For this year, it's going to be not only Tony Robbins again, Pitbull, 
will be on stage with Eric Worre. Texas Associates, there's a healthy mixer this Thursday at uh, 7 p.m. Contact looks like that's the Health Natural Solutions there. Uh, Utah Associates, Jared, Jared Harris is having another mixer this Friday at USANA that was with him this morning and he's already has people confirmed for this mixer. That'll be at USANA home office from 7.30 to 9.30 this Friday. Also, Viola and I will be doing the Health and Freedom next, uh, the Health and Freedom at USANA Corporate on Thursday, March 30th. So uh, check your, set up on your calendars to join uh, Viola and I at the corporate office on March 30th. Uh, Zooms, we're already working through Zoom. If you have not, you know, if you're on this webinar, if you, you're registered, if you, you can see who also is registered, if your team is not here, uh, they need to register at this link, uh, webinar.teamdsi.info. And that's the way that you can uh, be part of this new webinar, webinar series on Zoom. And here are the trunk of Jared's car. With this, you definitely want to be prepared with what you, uh, whenever you're out and about, you never know who you're going to run into, who you're talking to. Uh, you need to have all the proper forms, book, papers, to make sure that you do service your, the person that you're talking, talking to. So Jared, I see you've joined the webinar. Is that true? Jever, Jared? Oh yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, we had one like that uh, in the beginning of January, and, and we had uh, several diamonds that were in San Antonio. So yes, I, I know what you're talking about. It's he must be on the phone, like that. That that is okay. All right, Andre is back. Let me unmute him. We do have some questions for Andre. Andre, are you there? I am here. Excellent. Our first question comes from Renee and Megan. Where did you guys go? Renee, I lost you, my friend. Where did you, uh, did you drop off the call? Let me see if I can find him. Called back in. Okay, two and all. Here we are. All right, Renee, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, can hear you fine. And Andre is here. What's your question for Andre? Okay, my question is <clears throat> at what point when you were building your business did you start delegating stuff for other people? Because I know once I know once your team starts growing and growing and growing and growing, you're not gonna be able to be everywhere at one time and do everything. So how did, how did, how did you do that? Great question. So John C. Maxwell states that if somebody, and my wife actually, I mean, if somebody can do the job 80% as well as you can, you delegate it. And I think that sometimes one of the hardest things for a, emerging leader to do is to delegate because they want to control everything because they feel like they can do it better than everybody else, which is very much the case with me. I'm like, well, I can do it better than anybody else. I'm going to do it myself. I'll do it quicker and I'll do it, and I'll do it right away and I know how I want it done. But as soon as someone was able to 20, do it 80% as good as I could have done it, then they're doing it. And I also like to look at what people's interests are. So Phil is interested in an audio visual, so I had him do that. And, and Gabriella is interested in people and party and fun, so she's one of the greeters and does a lot of our posts. We delegate, we have a, um, a customer-based page 
on a Facebook, a group, and we have three or four different teammates who rotate putting informative posts in that group so that the customers are getting value. Whereas before, it was Nick and I doing everything. So I don't know if that answers your questions, but as soon as possible, I, I delegated just so that people could figure out how to do it. Yes, that definitely that definitely answered my question, <clears throat> and I I totally appreciate your time. I know that you're a very busy man, and thank you for being on our webinar. Oh, I appreciate you uh, being here to listen. Yeah, I'll definitely see you when you come to San Antonio. I'll see you soon, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll be there. Excellent. Thank thank you, Renee. I think next question is from Lillian Lillian Galdiano the. Lillian, are you there? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, can hear you. Awesome. So I wanted to ask Andre, are you can you give us like a sample text of what you send to your prospects? Yeah, it's what I said on the a little bit earlier. So are you talking about for product or for to come to an event? Yes, for product. For product. I what's your name? Lillian. Hey, yeah, it's Andre. Uh, listen, my wife and I have a goal to get 100 new families on their wellness journey between now and August. If I sent you a link to my product website and offered you a money-back guarantee, would you try one, something from the product line that would add value to your life? Awesome. Okay. That sounds great. Appreciate it. And following up, yeah. with, following up with that, what would you do on the business side? Or, or okay, you say um, event or product. Is that what your your focus is? Uh, my focus, my focus is um, everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, we do we're, we are building a foundation of customers, but um, we're also, uh, you know, I love events. I think with events, I would, excuse me, I would say to hey Lillian, it depends on how, where I meet them. If they're a waiter, then I cross check them differently than if they're a friend. But if they're a friend, I would ask them what they were doing on Monday night. Uh, I'm hosting a health and wellness event uh, at 7.45 in my house, and you've always been one of the brightest people I know. I love your feedback. If I reserved you a seat, would you make it? Mm. And if they say yes, I'm like great, can you make it for sure? <laughs> and for sure, for sure. And then you know the whole Eric Quarry close. If not, if they say no, then I say, hey, you know what? No problem. I know you're busy, and your time is valuable. That's one of the reasons why I reached out to you. Give me three times it worked for you this week, and I'll make one of them work. Wow. So I think it's important to have a meeting. So that your fallback can be one of the three. Give you the three times that work for you. So, so that way, they, there's no running. There's no hiding. Okay. Excellent. Sorry, Lillian, did you, did you have any other question? Did, did you get your question answered? I'm sorry I jumped over you. No, no. Um, he answered it. I'm good. Thank you. Good. All right. Excellent. All right, we have time for one or two more questions if you got your hands up. I don't see any other hands up. Hopefully everyone can figure out if you hit the participants box, participant box, at the bottom of that is a place where you can raise your hand and be able to ask a question. Crystal Krebs. Raised her hand. Where is Crystal? There we are. All right, Crystal. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Hey, Andre. Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, so my question is, uh, since you're obviously um, in the Hollywood industry, um, how, how convenient or how easy it um, do you think it is or open, I guess, are people 
who are in that industry? Cause I mean, obviously they're, they're definitely more health conscious as far as, um, you know, looking good and things like that. Um, but just in that field, um, do you think more people are open to it because they are so health conscious or does it even matter? Like who you talk to, like that responds. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who I talk to. I mean, I think if you have two ears, I'm going to talk to you um, or one ear. If you can hear me now, I'm going to talk to you. But I do think that the people that are in my industry, sometimes it's harder. They're more vain. They think they know it all. They want to be famous. They don't want to be distracted with anything. They think anything that you're offering them, if it's not their idea, is a distraction from them becoming a super famous actor, director, singer, musician, whatever. So I, I, I have found that relating to the person I'm speaking to, relating how the product or the compensation plan can actually enhance their core you know, dream mm -hmm. has been the best thing for me to do. I also have tried to make myself of more esteem to leverage myself and my time. So I also tell hey, listen, if you want to work with me, if you want to be around me, this is the best way. Because this is what I'm focusing on. So with the people that are in this type of industry, and I think in any, any industry, uh, it's kind of cliche, but I think that the value that you become makes you more of a magnet to the business. So I've, I've tried to become more self-developed than anybody in the entertainment industry that I know. And secondly, I think there is a bit of vanity that, that with the models and the actors that I uh, appeal to, because they all want to look good and feel good. But I, in essence, I think everybody wants to look good and feel good. Some of us just have a camera in front of us and some of us don't, but I think everybody wants that same look good, feel good story at the end of the day. Awesome. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I was just curious. I mean, obviously I, you know, I am somewhat in the industry too. So sometimes bringing up the conversation can be challenging. <laughs> so, but thanks. Yeah. You know, a lot of people in the industry though also aren't really doing what they want to do full time. A lot of them are, are waiting tables or Ubering or doing something else other than what they really want to do. So I really try to explore and examine are you really doing what you want to do and is what you're doing bringing you closer to the reason why you came out here? Right. That's so. yeah. awesome. Well, thank you. All right. Thanks, Crystal. Final thank question. You. We'll go back to, uh, to Renee. Renee said he had one more, one more question. Go ahead, Renee, you're open. Okay. So my other question is, um, I'm at the point in my USANA business to where I'm probably going to get an MLM coach. And uh, I was wondering if you have one or if you've ever used one in the past. Um, yeah, Jim Rohn. He's my coach. Uh, <laughs> Jim Rohn, Eric Worre are my coaches. Um, and uh, I guess what I mean by that is all the things I think we need to know to make this business happen are searchable. And I think the, the things that the things that are always the same, the seven skills, the seven key skills are what we need to be successful. I think it may be help for me it's been helpful to have that someone to help me be accountable. Um but the information as to how to be better is out there. I just read it in GoPro or I, li or I listen to um building a network marketing business or learn these skills or live a mediocre life or um, reducing income. The skills, the tools are there. I think what some people need is accountability. And oftentimes I have found it's been more helpful for me to have somebody on my team or someone cross line help me be accountable than to invest my money into a coach at this level for me. I, I, I have not used one yet. Um, but you but you have used accountability partners? Oh yeah. 
I, I think accountability partner is like having a personal trainer or a workout buddy. There are days you're not going to feel like doing it. And when you know you have to tell somebody what you did that day, if it's nothing, <laughs> that's terrible. So you, you do it. You know what I mean? Having a kind of ability partner really has. Yeah. Did that answer? Are you still there? Sure. All right. Well, thank you so much again. We're, we're a little bit past the hour. Thanks again, Andre, so much for taking the time out of your busy life. I, I personally have four pages of nuggets uh, that I definitely am going to review and make sure I implement into my business and the strategies. I, wow, wow, I just, uh, what, what you're doing now is working shown by results. So again, thank you so much. I want to now unmute all the lines and I'd like everyone to say good night and God bless. Good night and God bless. Good night. Good night and God bless. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night and God bless everybody. Yeah. Good night and God bless everybody. All right. Thank you, Andre. I have time to